Lessons finished early at Elgin Academy this week as pupils gathered to watch an Elgin Schools under-18 take on a Murray West under-18 in a match to remember former pupil Matthew Campbell, who sadly passed away on the 3rd of January this year. The match was organised by classmate Tara Cameron with support from Katie Morrison, Murray Development Officer George Whitecross and Regional Development Manager Pete Young. Katie, could you tell me a little bit about Matthew? Um, well, Matthew was the sort of person who had brains to burn. Uh, not only did he excel academically, he excelled socially, he completed um, his bronze uh, Duke of Edinburgh award and throughout that he was determined to reach the end. Um, and he was determined to be a doctor um, and despite his, the setbacks of his treatment and his uh, cancer he still found a way to get five, five A's in his hires and was never short of a moment to come and speak to anyone who had a problem so he was the kindest person that I'd ever met. And he loved his rugby, didn't he? He did, he really enjoyed it. Um, he couldn't um, play as much of it as he would have liked, but he definitely enjoyed um, watching it. And um, Tara, the, the game that we've organised here today, how did that come about? Um, I found out that his interests were rugby, and um, through the help of his friend Max and Mr Kelly, who's our rugby coach at school, he helped me contact George, who's the rugby development officer, and he just got in contact with the teams to see if we could get any teams together. So it's an Elgin Academy the, um, the It's the Elgin High and Elgin Academy team versus the Murray West team, which is Forest High and Lossie High. And this is the first time the teams have met? Yeah. yeah. And are you hoping this is going to be an annual? Event? Yeah, we've got the shield, so we're hoping that it continues on. Mr Kelly, you're rugby champion at Elgin Academy. I am, yes. Um, how do you feel about the match has gone today? It was a good match for rugby um, to celebrate Matthew. It's a shame the score was a bit one-sided, but I'm very grateful to Lossie Mouth and Forrest for turning up and giving us the game. They brought some extra players who hadn't played much rugby before, so that made it a bit special. And it was a great effort to allow everybody to organise this. It was, particularly Tara Cameron, whose idea it was, not mine at all. Uh, she and the other six years did a great job. And it's going to be an annual fix? We hope so. It won't go on forever. Um, but I think for the last few, few years that we still remember Matthew directly, students have direct memories of him, will keep it going. And I think Murray under-18s may have used it as well as sort of part of an end-of-season friendly game for themselves. And there, there were some players today who had never played before? There was one or two, yes. Yes, there were one or two but who sort of wanted to take part and celebrate. One or two in our school who knew Matthew and had only done a bit of rugby and PE and a little bit of contact. They were still very keen to support. So, so to Matthew's legacy also? He certainly does. He made a big impression on everybody, um, just his spirit, his attitude. Um, he was with a standoff and I think just because he'd been ill, he couldn't really play for the school. Just his body has been a bit weak, but he was always, I always talked about rugby and he took, got tickets, came to games, so, no, a special guy.
Matthew was, well, he was an inspiration. Uh, I'm sure everyone who knew him would um, agree. Uh, he, um, he excelled in all those aspects of life and um, he'll never be forgotten and we will all show um, favourite men.